Hi, everyone. I'm Mark with you on this Thursday. Are you ready for some winter weather, first in the form of snow and then cold? And then a week from that, are you ready for temperatures going over 70 by next Thursday and next Friday? Incredible stuff coming. The World Series of Weather is right here in Boston and much of New England. That's why there's no place I'd rather be forecasting the weather. It is awesome. All right, let's get into it. And here we go with the forecast being brought to you by Pinellas Market, located at 50 Central Avenue, Needham. Call 781-400-2283. Serving breakfast and, of course, great lunches. They serve soups, salads, sandwiches, wraps, pizza, everything you want. Check them out. Weather headline time talks about a wet Thursday, rain breaking out by midday. The rain overnight will be shifting over to snow from northwest to southeast. We have a cold shot coming tomorrow and Saturday and a bigger cold shot coming Monday and Tuesday. And oh yes, Saturday night, we turn the clocks back one hour. So by Sunday afternoon, 4.30, you look out the window watching the Patriots lose. Wait, what am I saying? The Patriots game and it's getting, well, it is dark. It's very dark. It's like, oh, give me that nature bright light. Let's get into it. Seriously here, folks. By 2 o'clock this afternoon, we had the remains of what once was Hurricane Zeta. An ex-tropical low in the mountains of West Virginia. We're having some pretty decent rains. Boston, this storm will be moving northeast. There seems to be another storm developing here. See the bag in the isobar of the stretch here. Low pressure developing in the Tennessee Valley. This is going to be important. This is going to take over the main circulation and give us snow. So by 8 o'clock tonight, we see Zeta south of New England giving us a soaking rain. Here comes the second storm. And by 2 o'clock Friday morning, here's the rub. Zeta moves off to the northeast. This is important because as she's in this position, the wind in Boston is going to turn north-northeast, dragging cold air down. And that means the rain will be flipping the snow before dawn on Friday in Boston as the second storm comes up the coast. So by 2 o'clock Friday afternoon, that storm is off to the east, well southeast of Cape Cod. We're still snowing, though, in easternmost New England, about to shut down. It may be a little late day clearing, but it's cold, folks. Friday afternoon, temps only 35 to 40, going down to low and mid-20s by Saturday morning. How much snow? Well, the GFS finally back in the game, giving us one to two inches of snow in Boston, perhaps three plus in Worcester County. But the NAM a little bit more aggressive, giving two to three inches of snow in the greater Boston area, up to six in the Monadnock region, six perhaps in the Berkshires, and over six inches in the mountains of Vermont. We'll have to wait and see. So for today, here's the deal. Cloudy, chilly, rain by noon, temps in mid-40s. And then overnight, rain heavy at times, windy and cold. The rain will be changing to snow in Boston before dawn. You wake up Friday morning, it's snowing at a pretty good clip. Lows falling back at a low in mid-30s. Now, here's your 70 forecast for Boston. Snow Friday morning is done by midday. Could be some afternoon sun, but it's windy and cold. Temperatures struggling to get to 40. Low 20s at night. Saturday, sunny to partly cloudy. Low 40s going down to the 20s for Halloween night. Sunday morning sun and lots of clouds come in. It's mild, 55 to 60, maybe some showers at night. Monday, partly cloudy. It's near 40. But then the secondary cold front, an Arctic cold front, comes through late Monday night and Tuesday morning, maybe with some snow squalls. And by Tuesday morning, it's near 20 in Boston, only going into the upper 30s. But look at the shift between Tuesday and Wednesday from 37 to 65. And by next Thursday and Friday, we could be over 70. All right, that's it for me. Enjoy your Thursday, everybody. I'm Mark Rosenthal.